Noon, I'm Dan DeRose with 19 News Now coming to you from our digital desk. We have some brand new video in from the Independence Police Department. Uh, this is in regards to a chase and a crash that happened this morning at about 2 a.m. on I-480. The crash actually uh, happens around state, uh, the state road exit. This all started on Rockside Road in Independence when police there said they spotted a vehicle about 2 o'clock in the morning that was driving erratically, made some several errors as he was driving, and when they tried to pull over, 27-year-old Daniel Fillmore that's when he took off and he gets on to 77 and then 480 and then in, a, in an extremely dangerous move that you're about to see, he crosses the median and starts driving the wrong way on I-480. Again, it was 2 o'clock this morning, not a lot of traffic as you're about to see, uh, but certainly a dangerous situation nonetheless. Here is uh, the officer that has already seen Fillmore allegedly drive by. Uh, the officer is going to pull out here and then take a right uh, on to uh, Rockside Boulevard and we'll get some audio in this uh, when he turns on his lights as he tries to pull Fillmore over just before 77 uh, is going to come up here. Uh, and again, speeds reaching nearly 100 miles an hour once this gets on uh, the highway. That's Fillmore's vehicle up there with the turn signal on. By the way, this is a stolen car out of Akron. Uh, once the uh, crash had ended and they started the investigation, they found out this car uh, had in fact been stolen, reported stolen out of Akron. So here is the initial start of the chase. Uh, we're about to get audio here in the second, but as you can see, lights are on uh, and Fillmore is not pulling over. And there is the move that he just went through the median. He is now going the wrong, well, he pulled over through the median onto the 480 side, not going the wrong way yet, but that is coming up. He's gonna take this 480 towards Parma, towards Brooklyn. And there was the move across the median, all the way across all those lanes on 480, now driving the wrong way. And there is some traffic you can see on the other side of the highway there. The officer uses the cut through to now go the wrong way. Uh, his lights, his sirens are going. Uh, that is in an attempt to maybe alert uh, the drivers that are coming towards the suspect vehicle uh, to be on the lookout. You heard the officer say speed 100 and he cannot catch up to uh, the suspect there, Daniel Fillmore. Now the first exit coming up will be the state road exit. Thank you. 
So he's going up the entrance ramp. Uh, he's going the wrong way on the entrance ramp there on State Road. headed the right direction on 480. You saw him go up on the embankment there, the side of the road, the hill, came back down. Another dangerous move here. He hit that barrier there, that metal barrier. Cars losing all kinds of pieces here. Uh, the end of it was trying to make out what the, the commands that they were giving. Again, uh, the man that was in the car, according to Independence Police, is this man, 27-year-old Daniel Fillmore. Uh, he had to be transported to Metro with minor injuries. He is now in the Independence Jail. Uh, there is a statement from the police chief, Robert Butler, there in Independence. He said the officer was compelled to continue following this driver because he had created a life threatening situation. Daniel Fillmore chose to put others at risk. I am happy to hear that no officers or innocent motorists were injured due to this suspect's reckless action. That is a quote from the police chief Robert Butler in this chase. Again, the vehicle that Fillmore was in was reported stolen out of Akron. Uh, but of course, driving very erratically, taking some absolute dangerous chances by heading the wrong way for miles and miles on I-480. Uh, and then whatever those embankment stunts were, trying to uh, drive up uh, some pretty big hills right there on the side of the highway did not work in his benefit. He is in custody facing several, several charges now. Uh, when we have that list of charges, we'll bring it and we'll update it uh, on our website and on uh, on air when we take to air at three o'clock tonight. Uh, we do have three and a half hours of news starting at three o'clock on Channel 19. Until then, I'm Dan DeRose with 19 News Now. Have a good afternoon. 19 News, first, fair, everywhere.